So this is where we get to the stage where you might think multi-touch is for me. I sell to B2B. Um, I know I need to stay on the radar of my customers for longer. I know I need to educate them. I need to build some trust. I know that's going to take some time. And I've realized that I need lots of marketing content. And each of those have to be implemented on time. And each of them have to be measured on time. So the building of that program is quite a big, a, quite a big challenge to most businesses. And this is quite often where they get to the, whoa, that's just too difficult. So if that's you and you need to talk to somebody to design those programs, that's fine. Because what needs to happen is that these touches have to go out at regular intervals. Or they need to be measured and monitored. So if you're in a business that's in that feast and famine cycle and you stop your marketing, this program is not for you. This program is dedicated every four to six weeks touches going through and they must happen. Those intervals must be respected. Those timelines must be respected. So this is what we do if we're designing one for ourselves. We start with the ideal prospects. We start with looking at what marketing activity you're currently doing in something we call a marketing MOT. And then we'll look at what targets you set for your business. So what growth ambitions you've got, what's a realistic budget that you're working to for your sales and marketing. Then we have to start on the data. We have to actually have a pool of people to market to. We design the first touches. So we typically design sort of a quarter at a time. And we'll start the program. We're replenishing the pool all the time with new suspects. And as we're working through that first batch, we'll be designing a quarter at a time. So sort of uh, six batches, if you like, through that program. And then finally, everything's measured reviewed and refined. So we want these programs to convert as many leads as possible. And once we've got that uh, measurement and that refining process in place, we can actually convert about half the cold leads that we feed in.